from CNRS, senior researcher at CNRS and University of Bordeaux, uh, who will tell us about burgers like turbulence in the surf zone. So Philippe, uh, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you very much for this introduction, Mario. First of all, I would like to, to thank uh, Enrique and Mario for providing me this, um, the opportunity to, to present a, a very recent uh, project. And this project is about uh, wave turbulence in, uh, in the surf zone. Uh, so wind-generated waves can be considered as a random state made of a large number of waves, which interact nonlinearly. And for such system, uh, we, we need a stochastic description in order to, to get the statistical quantities such as uh, energy spectra. And uh, in fact, the wind generated wave is the most well known example of what is called uh, wave turbulence. Uh, in the ocean, there are uh, different wave turbulence regime. First, in the deep water, the, um, the waves are weakly nonlinear and strongly dispersive. And in this context, Asselman in 1962 derived a kinetic equation for the wave action. Zakharov and Filonenko then show that the kinetic energy equation possesses stationary solution and universal uh, equilibrium spectra of the form of a power law uh, at the frequency at uh, the power minus, uh, minus four. Uh, in fact, in this context of weakly uh, nonlinear wave turbulence is in deep water. The energy cascade from uh, the peak frequency at which uh, energy is, uh, is uh, injected to, uh, to low frequency, uh, to um, low uh, high frequency uh, wave component where the energy is dissipated. Um, in shallow water, the, the problem is much more complex because the waves are strongly nonlinear and weakly dispersive. Um, several authors uh, try to identify uh, universe equilibrium spectra in this, uh, in this zone. But the problem is, is really complex because uh, during uh, uh, their propagation waves, uh, uh, the, uh, the propagation of waves, there is a strong increase of uh, third and higher harmonics. And this is related to um, a very fast variation in the space of the, um, the energy spectra. So I think that, in fact, in this zone, there is no clear, clear evidence of equilibrium spectra. Uh, however, uh, at the end of the surf zone, in the inner surf zone, uh, we can observe equilibrium energy spectra. Uh, Jim Kirby and, uh, and his uh, colleagues, in particular, uh, show uh, that uh, they, they, they observed in lab experiments a poor low spectra in, uh, in the form of F, the frequency, to the power minus. So today, my, my talk is about um, wave turbulence and equilibrium energy spectra, in specifically in the inner surf zone. If we consider low sloping beaches, we can show that there are many similarities between wave turbulence and burger's turbulence. And I will show also that uh, we can identify a um, universal equilibrium spectral law which, which writes uh, like this. So just some, um, I would like to introduce some uh, basic uh, information about uh, waves in the, in the inner surf zone. So first we can consider that such waves are very similar to non-dispersive, non-linear Philippe, it looks like you're muted. Oh. Uh, can you uh, wait? Yeah, wait. I, I, yeah, I, I try to... Okay, good. So, um, okay. so we, waves in the inner cell zone are very close, are very similar to non dispersive, non linear hyperbolic waves. And um, I'm sorry, the problem is my. Uh, 
And for instance, the formation of SOTUS web, such as the, this one, uh, is a common feature of nominal hyperbolic webs, such as Burger's web or acoustic web. So for this web, a good model to uh, describe this, uh, their dynamics is a nonlinear, non-dispersive shallow water equation uh, system. Uh, this assertion uh, uh, has been validated by many authors uh, from comparison between uh, a numerical simulation and laboratory uh, and, field, uh, and field data. In most of these applications, uh, the wave front are treated as a, a shock, a localized shock. Just some uh, brief information, an example of what we can uh, do with such a very simple model. You can see here the evolution at different points along the, the inner cell zone in the, during a field experiment. In dashed line, uh, it is a numerical simulation and continuous lines. Uh, the, the experiment. And you can see with such approach, it's not new, right? So old results, that there is a, a good representation of, um, of the distortion, of the wave distortion, and also uh, the, the formation of Santos wave, and also the, the energy dissipation is relatively well produced. So finally, the nonlinear, non-dispersal shallow water recursion can be a good candidate for a mathematical model for analysis wave turbulence. However, we, we would like to, to analyze equilibrium spectra, such as this one. So we will see later that uh, such uh, equilibrium spectra can be uh, divided in two sub-ranges, the inertial range in, in red, and uh, the diffusive range. Problem with my. Oh. And um, in the inner cell range, uh, we, we, we can describe the dynamics in the inner cell range uh, with um, non viscid uh, wave model. Uh, and so, in that case, the shock wave approach is, seems appropriate. And we can describe the K to the power of minus two uh, trends with a non viscid uh, uh, approach. However, there is also another uh, sub range, the diffusive range, uh, where the diffusive process are really significant. And in that case, uh, we, we can't use a shock wave approach uh, this, this approach is no more relevant. So we, we have used, uh, um, in fact, a diffusive shock wave approach, where extra, uh, following the, the work, previous works by Dutik and Diaz and uh, Cienfuegos uh, uh, et al. Uh, from these approaches, we uh, added extra diffusivity terms for modeling mass and momentum uh, equation at the wave front. Uh, it is some relatively unusual to apply this uh, sort of term to, to the mass conservation equation, but it represents, it, it, this term mimics, in fact, the local mass transfer by avalanches at the wave front. And for, we, we can simplify the, the problem by considering low sloping beaches for which uh, reflection, wave reflection uh, is generally negligible. And then we, we can obtain a one way shallow water recursion, which is which right here, where zeta is a surface elevation, hm is the mean water depth, and cm is a celerity, the roots uh, ghm. So it is a very simple model, nonlinear, non-dispersive, shallow water equation, one way. It is very simple to, it is a sort of toy model to, uh, to understand the processes uh, and the nonlinear wave, uh, the nonlinear wave uh, turbulence. So uh, this equation has uh, many similarities with, uh, with the Burger equation, which is here. And um, it's worthwhile to note that 
uh, Burger's Turbulence, generally named Burgulance, have been studied for decades by a large community of physicists and mathematicians. And uh, the Burgulance uh, has been for me a, a source of inspiration for understanding wave turbulence in the, in the inner cell zone. So from uh, the one-way equation, if we assume that the uh, water depth variation are negligible, and uh, making the change of variable, we can get this uh, one-way equation. And in the frame of, refer of reference moving at uh, CM, the velocity CM, we get, of course, uh, the Burgers equation. Now I would like to, to, to say a little, a little bit more about um, Burgers dynamics. And I start with something very simple. Uh, you can see numerical simulation of um, a Burgers wave, periodic Burgers wave, with initial condition in dot line, sinusoidal uh, uh, wave. And then you can see the, the evolution of the wave field. And finally, the formation of a diffusive uh, SOTOS uh, short, or short waves. Uh, Cole in uh, 1951 uh, derived an analytical solution for describing the, such a uh, SOTOS wave. So, V is a function of capital V, which is a V jump, and uh, lambda is a wavelength, and delta nu is given by this expression. And delta nu, in fact, represents the thickness, the diffusive thickness of the, of the wave front. So you can see in, uh, in red a comparison between the the numerical simulation and this analytical solution with a nearly perfect agreement. Uh, so, uh, if we, we know this, uh, the, the wave field, we can compute uh, the Fourier transform and then the, uh, the energy spectrum, which expresses like this, where we can find uh, the square of the, the hyperbolic cosecant here. Uh, which is a function of wave number and a characteristic uh, diffusive scale, k nu, which can be expressed la like this. It is important to note that this diffusive scale is proportional to the inverse of uh, the, the thickness of the, of the wave front. Now we can compare uh, the analytical uh, energy spectrum with numerical uh, simulation in red. And we, we, we can see again a very good agreement uh, validation of this, uh, of this uh, theoretical uh, equation for the, for the energy. Now back to, um, to random wave, because we, we want to speak about uh, wave turbulence, so uh, random wave field. Uh, so we consider a, a freely evolving statistically homogeneous wave turbulence, la like this uh, example. Uh, and we want to, to compute the, the power spectrum. So by definition, the power spectrum is the Fourier transform of the autocorrelation function. And, uh, and uh, Safman in uh, 1968 um, assumed that the periodic solution, which is given uh, here, is uh, reproduce qualitatively furniture of the small scale behavior of the, of the turbulence. In this equation, uh, uh, lambda m is no more the, the wavelength, but the mean wavelengths or the mean distance between two consecutive uh, uh, wave, uh, wave form, two consecutive diffusive shock. And Capital V is a suitable average of uh, V jumps. So from this uh, hypothesis, Safman derived an expression for a relation for uh, the autocorrelation function and then for the uh, energy spectra. And the energy spectra writes uh, like this with a, uh, a formula and equation which is quite similar with, uh, um, with uh, uh, monochromatic. Uh, case. So from uh, this uh, equation, we can distinguish two uh, different uh, 
uh, asymptotic regime. For small wave number, uh, we get uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, power law equation, um, power law uh, spectrum, uh, and with uh, uh, k uh, to the power minus two, which is similar to what we, we already uh, seen um, in, uh, in the field. And for a large wave number, so at smaller scale, uh, we see that the energy spectrum uh, decreases exponentially with, uh, with the wave number. Now, you can see here a comparison between uh, a numerical uh, simulation of random waves in blue. Uh, the initial condition is given here with uh, the initial uh, spectrum. And we can see once again that there is, there is a very good agreement between the theoretical law and uh, the, the simulated uh, uh, spectrum. In, um, in this figure, you can see that we, we, we can divide the, uh, the, the spectrum into two sub-ranges, the inertial range, sub-range between Km, which is related to the mean wavelengths, and Canu, the, the diffusive scale. So in the inertial range, uh, this inertial range, uh, the energy spectrum is relatively uh, well predicted by the asymptotic behavior in uh, K to the power minus two. But in the diffusive range, you can see that uh, there is a, um, an exponential decrease of, of the energy. Now back to, 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 real, to the real life, to real wave. Uh, so now we are co considering a uh, random wave uh, in, uh, in the field, in, uh, in, the, in the inner self zone. And you can see that there are many similarities between uh, uh, signal, wave signal in, in the inner self zone uh, with Burgerov's waves. And also the spectrum show nearly the same trends with the power law of the form uh, omega to omega is a pulsation, omega to power minus two, and uh, high frequency tails, which is quite similar that, uh, to what we, we, we see previously for the Burgers uh, turbulence. So we, in fact, the, the wavefront structure are controlled by the balance between the, the nonlinear term here and the diffusive term. So for this reason, we conjecture that locally in the inner self zone, wave front and spectra can be described by the, the Burgers model. So we have to, to move from a Burger spectrum in the K space and the wave normal space to inner self zone spectrum in the frequency space. It's uh, relatively obvious. Uh, we have the relation between the, the elevation and uh, the variable B. So we can get the energy spectrum for the elevation in function of the wave number. And using the non-dispersive relation here, we get uh, the expression of the energy uh, spectrum for the elevation. So the, the equation for the energy of the elevation is here. And it depends on two parameters, new star, which is a function of the coefficient uh, of the coefficient parameter mu t, and another parameter omega nu, which is a diffusive scale. Once again, we can uh, distinguish two asymptotic regimes. This one with uh, omega uh, to the power minus two, and the second one is a diffusive regime with an exponential decrease of the energy spectrum. Now we, we are trying to, to, to test this, uh, this approach uh, with real data. Uh, this data come from an experiment by Van Norlos uh, in 2003. And um, you, you can see the gray line correspond to, to the spectrum at the beginning of, the, of breaking. And uh, the blue, the blue uh, spectrum to uh, measurements uh, in the in the self zone in the inner self zone, 
And uh, so it's clearly, we clearly show this trend, omega to the power of minus two for relatively uh, low uh, pulsation. And if we look at, uh, if we look uh, this plot in a semi-log semi representation, you clearly see that for large omega, large pulsation, there is clearly an exponential decrease of uh, the energy spectrum. So, in fact, this, uh, the, general the general formulation here gives a very good uh, description of uh, the, the energy uh, spectrum. And, oh, sorry. And we can distinguish two subranges, the inertial range with uh, this asymptotic uh, uh, trends and the diffusive range uh, with uh, an exponential decrease. In uh, smaller water depths, uh, we can observe, of course, uh, the decrease of uh, global energy of the wave field. But also, we can see that uh, the inertial range increases. Um, first, because uh, the diffusive parameter slightly increases, but only, only little increase. And also because, mainly because the, the mean uh, pulsation uh, decreases. So we have the, it is associated with uh, larger uh, wave, wave, uh, waves. So we have uh, tested also other um, experiments, always from von Merlos for uh, a, a frequency peak uh, much uh, slightly larger and we, we observe nearly, nearly the same trends. So by fitting the, the data uh, with, uh, with the theoretical equ equation, we can compute uh, the two parameters, mu star and uh, the diffusive scale omega mu. So from mu star, then we can compute for each spectrum in each point uh, the, the 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 diffusive parameters. And then we can compute uh, the, dis the dissipation spectrum, which is a, a function of uh, mu t and, uh, and ek. Uh, Mass and Kirby in 1992 already mentioned a burgers like uh, K2 uh, dependence. Now we are able to measure mu t and then to compute exactly, exactly, I don't know, to compute the evolution uh, of, the, of the dissipation spectrum. So in the inertial range, uh, the dissipation is nearly constant. So there is a, an equipartition of, uh, of the dissipation in function of, uh, of wave number, and then an exponential decrease of the dissipation for uh, high frequencies. So to conclude, uh, during this talk, uh, uh, I presented the identification of the universal, universal equilibrium energy spectrum in the inner cell zone. And following Berger's theory, we can show that this equilibrium spectrum is given by this, uh, this equation. And um, we, uh, we, I have validated uh, this, uh, this approach with the laboratory data of von Norlos for very nice data for random web uh, and with a, a beach slope of one over 35. But to, to go further in the validation, I am looking for additional random web database, uh, specifically for low sloping uh, a bed uh, with um, a slope between one over 50 to one over 30. And so that would be, will, will be big welcome. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Philippe, for this uh, nice and clear talk. So we, we have a few minutes for questions. So uh, is there anyone in the audience who uh, has any questions? <clears throat> um, hi, hi, Philippe. Hi, Jim. 
Um, um, it's a very nice talk. I actually, um, back um, been playing around with this myself a long time ago, I, I, did, I didn't actually know the, the right reference to SAF in 1958 or 68. So if you could provide that, that would be great. Um, one thing in playing around with is that I, I had reached the conclusion myself is that if I was looking at a function that had some finite number of jump discontinuities in it, uh, regardless of what the rest of the function looked like, that it would have at least a range of its spectrum with a um, uh, you know frequency to the minus two dependence in the spectrum. And I'm wondering, um, I've always wondered if uh, what I was looking at sort of phenomenologically actually had any uh, basis in theory. I just sort of uh, reached that conclusion by example. So just a, just a comment. Uh, it was a very nice talk. Thanks. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you, Jim. And thank and you also for providing me your, your results, uh, your, your data with uh, mass, mass curve in 90 years. So perhaps I have a... I have a plot, yes, uh, of your of your data. But so is the, the comparison with the analytical solution is not so good in that case. Um, uh, I, for one reason is that your the slope, uh, the B slope, is relatively uh, a steep. Uh, so one over 20. So uh, the inner serve zone is relatively short and uh, there is no enough time to, for the establishment of um, um, an equilibrium spectra. But we have a nice trend and almost the, this path seems not so far to, to, to the diff diffusive um, Sub-range I presented uh, be, before, so, so so it is why I'm looking for uh, um, data uh, in uh, for uh, low, low, very low sloping addition. I do have another data set that was done in our lab. It was very similar on a one on thirty five slope. It's never actually been published anywhere except for maybe a coastal conference paper. Um, I could send that to you. Okay, thank you. So there's a question by, uh, we have time. So a question by Germain Rousseau. Germain, please go ahead. Yes, hello, Philippe. Uh, I was wondering about the effect of the undertow current. Each time you, the localized shocks disappear during the swash phase, there is a return current. So your sawtooth waves uh, somehow interact on the slope where there is a return current. So I was wondering if you cannot modify your dispersion relation because at one point you use a K equal omega divided by CM and you should maybe modify your CM by CM minus U and U is an undertow current. So is it just a, a shift of frame of reference be, because of the return current or is, is there any modification in the spectrum induced by the presence of the undertow current? So, your calculation is as if you, you neglect this uh, undertow current. So it's maybe uh, for small slope or something like that. Do, do you agree on the fact that uh, I don't see the effect of the return yeah, current? No, yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. Uh, I don't take into account the, the undertow, but the effect of the undertow uh, for such a, such a wet field is, is very small. So uh, you, you are, you are, it, it's true. We, we don't take into account the, the undertow, but I, I don't think it's, uh, uh, its contribution is really uh, significant. But each time the bore is propagating, it is propagating on a return current. It is maybe not undertow, I, I mean the return current after the phase of swash. So I, I think that after what, the- What do you mean by uh, return current? I mean, each time the shocks disappear by the swash, then there is a water which is receding. So it, it generates a return current and the next uh, sawtooth wave. Do you mean the reflection of, uh, of um, the incident wave uh, in the swash zone? Do you mean yeah, that? It, Yes. Yeah. Uh, w when the incoming bore uh, disappears, 
there is a return current and the next bore is interacting with this uh, previous yeah. uh, return current. So I, I, I would expect that your dispersion relation uh, is modified by this return current. Yes, it's, it is why uh, the, the, the approach uh, I propose is, is basically for uh, very slow, uh, for slow, low slow slope slope. beaches where uh, reflection, wave reflection can be negligible. Okay. Thanks. Thank okay. You. Thank you, Philippe. Uh